Working with SLAs in Jira software hasn't always been very easy, but for many years there have already been several solutions that allow you to actually register and follow the SLA without using Jira service management. Now in this video I'm going to be talking about one of our favorite plugins to do that, Time2 SLA, and I'm going to show you an amazing feature that has been introduced in this, uh, in this app, in this add-on, that allows you to refresh a uh, SLA panel automatically without refreshing the page, which is kind of awesome, and I'll tell you exactly why. This video is part of our effort to deliver high-quality training and learning materials for the Atlassian ecosystem. If you want to support this, then consider subscribing to the channel, and please remember that we do offer paid services in those areas, so if you want to talk, for example, more about Time to SLA and learn how to, you can leverage this tool for your particular circumstances without, for example, paying additional licenses for Jira service management, reach out to us and we will tell you all about it. Now, back to this amazing add-on. So, what I want to demonstrate today is that, first of all, for those of you that maybe are not aware, if you configure the time to SLA properly, then for um, all of the issues that you want to have it, you will have this SLA panel available over here. And this panel will basically be showing you how good you are with your SLA. But before I go into the details, let's talk uh, just slightly about what SLA is and what we can see over here. So if you configure SLA, time to SLA properly, then you will get this SLA panel over here that allows you to control the SLA. And there are many different configuration options for it. I'm not going to go into the details of this in this video. But what I want to mention over here is that um, imagine now the situation where you have this SLA panel available over here, you are following the SLA, and very, very often what people are doing is that they are keeping uh, the, um, the, the issue tab opened over here so that they can, from time to time, take a look at what's happening with the SLA and what's the status of it, for example, right? And now, normally, if you're working with Jira service management, you will get those queues that auto refresh whenever something falls into the queue so we made it immediately you will see see all kinds of changes um, for many many years the solutions for these kind of add-ons to jira software um, were that you could implement some solutions that would auto refresh the page every i don't know let's say 15 seconds 60 seconds right depending on how fresh the information you want to have over here which was kind of an annoying because first of all uh, it was always refreshing something in your browser, so it was putting some strain on, on your computer. And second of all, it's, again, some custom solution that you have to implement, which essentially maybe is not very needed over here. So, the thing that has been added to time to sla very, very recently is something that I very much enjoy, because I'm going to show you how it's going to work right now. So I'm going. what I'm going to do is I'm going to register a new issue and I'm going to say, there's a bug under my bed. Very, very scary, right? So we are registering a bug and we're going to click here to view the issue and it's going to have its own SLA panel and it's going to start counting basically from zero because it's a freshly created um, bug. It's not getting the SLA panel. Let's refresh, and there it is. There it is. Sometimes it takes a while for the SLA to kick in, but there it is. Our SLA panel is showing us that we have one day, five hours, and 58 minutes remaining of our SLA. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to switch to a different window, different browser window. So in the previous window you've seen, I'm logged in as user um, that is that has access to the project and can register bugs but it's not really an administrator. Here I, I'm logged in with, a, with another user that actually is an administrator, which doesn't really matter in this kind of a situation because the administration options are um, not really what we are looking for over here. What we are looking for though, is to find our ticket. There is a bug under my bed and open it, right? And um, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to add a comment that we need more information regarding I don't know, uh, which bed, for example, right? Simple as that. And I'm going to change the status to waiting for information. Now, what that does is that when I change the status, the uh, SLA pauses, okay? So you can see that it's calculating over here. It will pause in a few seconds. It usually takes from 10 to 20 seconds to pause. 
but I'm going to switch to the previous window, right? So again, we're looking at the user that registered the, the bug, and I'm not doing anything right now. I'm not going to refresh the page, and the SLA panel should refresh itself. You can see that this icon shows that the SLA is running, right? There you go. And without me touching anything, it refreshed, and now we can see the SLA's pause, right? So it did work, it refreshed, and now we can see the current status of the SLA. Wonderful. It works even better than the comments in the Jira issue section, because as you can see, the comment that I've added as another user, it's not here, because I have to actually refresh now the page to see, okay, uh, it's, the issue is waiting for information, but what kind of information? Okay, which bad? The one in the living, oops, living room. There you go. So we're going to add this and we're going to change the issue to in progress. You know, I, I don't know what the current status should be as a user that registered issues. I'm assuming, okay, someone's working on it because they are asking questions. So maybe it's in progress. And again, the status over here will refresh in some seconds, but I'm going to switch to another window where the administrator is looking at it. And again, without me touching anything, you will see that at some point in time, the panel will refresh and there you go. It will refresh and now it's showing that the SLA is running again and it's all good. So this is something that changes things because now if you have your uh, issue tabs opened and you're looking, checking your SLAs from time to time, you don't have to go here, refresh the page and every time and check what's the current status. You will actually go into here uh, to the open tab and you will have the current status well with the slight delay 10 to 10 to 15 maybe 20 seconds but all in all it's a beautiful thing and yeah th that's basically all i wanted to show in this video but i also want to mention that the app itself time to sli app is really a really robust tool when it comes to sla management and if you're looking for something that will allow you to manage your SLAs and you don't want to have like a completely separate tool, um, Atlassian tool, Jira service management and, and pay for separate licenses, then this might be a very, very good solution for you because it's quite powerful. It allows you to do lots of different things. It's very configurable. And if you want to learn more about this, just let us know. The uh, links uh, and, and the email information is all in the description. So just drop us a note and we will schedule a free call and talk about how we can help you leverage this wonderful app inside the Jira ecosystem. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in the next video.